Hey hi, this is Sandeep and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create view objects based on entity objects and how to create read only view objects. So <coughs> while the creation of these uh, I will take more than two take more than uh, one table into example. For example, I'll create the view object based on more than one table. Basically I am going to take three tables here. So here I have got <coughs> these three tables. I've already created EO and VO. Uh, only EO. I am sorry. I have created only EO based on three tables. One is department table, one is employee table, and one is the job table. Okay, and these all associations that you are seeing have been automatically created, as I already described, uh, due to the constraints present and the DV level. Okay, so uh, let's look at here. So. Uh, here is our department table and here is our employee table here is our jobs table so let's say <coughs> that I want to create a view object based on all these three okay and I, how I want to display the data I want to display the department name and corresponding to that department I want to show how many employees are there for example for these these employees uh, for these departments who all employees are working under these so how I can get this I can get this by joining this department table employee table with the help of department ID so if I join that <coughs> I'll be able to get this result set right so after this <coughs> I will display the department and under the department who all are the employees and for each and every employee I want to display the job title but here the job ID is given so where can we get the job title we can get the job title from the jobs by combining this table employee table with the job table with the help of job ID as the key look at here on the jobs so here is our job ID so from here I can get I can fetch the job title so my display is gonna be like it will display department it will display how many employees or what all basically are the employees under that department and <coughs> for each and every employee what is the job title okay <coughs> so let's go ahead and get started I will say new and then I want to create a new object right after that I will name it as employee uh, department job where okay so here you have got two options updatable access through entity object and one is from SQL right basically uh, there are four options I'm gonna show you two of them so let's go through <coughs> this one first I want to create such a view object that will be based on the entity object and that will allow me to have updatable access also click next here it will show you these are the entity objects so I will scroll through I, I just want to put all them across this I just want to uh, shuttle all of them across here so that I tell ADF that was I am going to create the view object based on all these three so as you shuttle department you it will appear over here it will say it's updatable that's fine <coughs> when you select employee you and shuttle it over here look at here what has happened <coughs> while it got shuttled over here it is showing you the association which exists between this and the previous one which you already inserted these are the two associations which are already existing right and <coughs> here uh, it's showing that for this association it's gonna create an inner join right so <coughs> uh, the built-in association that I already described in the uh, previous tutorial like employee department foreign key association this association I already described so if you select this it's gonna join these two tables based on this association which exists in the department level so it, it's gonna basically create a join in these two tables based on this association right so you can go ahead with this also it will automatically generate a <coughs> Uh, it will automatically generate uh, the join based on this association and will form the query accordingly but uh, I want to show you that I don't want to actually select right now any uh, one of them because this view object which we are going to use this view object is not directly going to use any uh, association that is already existing maybe it is existing but I want to show you how I can I myself can customize and show the things in the view object that I want to show okay so I selected none and let's have a, I'll show you what this updatable is then I'll shuttle this okay so now as you shuttle this jobs it shows you that was between this and the previous one this is the association that exists so here also I don't want to have it I'll select none so <coughs> when you select this it says updatable that means on the view object whatever you update it is updatable on the EO it shows as it's not updatable right so 
and on the job view it's not updatable so i want to make this also updatable have this as also updatable and i want to say that part is particular row delete also that is if i delete a row just delete from all of this right okay now click next it will ask you what all attributes you want to show i want to show department name so as you see i just shut all department name but the, de the department id will come by itself actually <coughs> the primary key from each one of them will be shuttered across whatever you shuttle no matter whatever you shuttle here I want to show let's say first name and uh, last name that's it so here also as you see first name last name plus the employee already also got shuttled across automatically here I want to say job title so as you see I just shuttled the job title job ID came in handy for free so that means <coughs> whatever you shuttle from each one of these the primary key is going to be shuttled across automatically now all these will be shown on the v, uh, on the VO. Now click next. Here it will ask you about the properties to set the various properties over here, whether it will be updatable or while new updatable. This all this is updatable like on the UI what you want to show. Let's say I want uh, everything here is always updatable, but let's say I want the job title to be updatable as never. Just to just show you this setting which I've already shown you basically. This is the query that exists. I don't want this query basically. Okay, I want to edit this query and I want to say <coughs> I'm gonna have this query. Okay, so basically what it will do, it will select all these attributes, whatever I selected first from the department, from the employee, from the jobs. Okay. From these three tables it's gonna select and it's gonna create a join based on department and employee between these two a join will be created based on this as the joining key and then I'm gonna create a join to the job table to the job table uh, between the employee and the job table with the job ID as the key so he, by with this uh, with this query with this where clause I can achieve whatever I already mentioned at the start of the tutorial so I'll just test it. It will say query is valid. That's fine. Click next. I don't want any bind variables right now. I don't need Java. I can expose this new object. Summary is fine. Let's go ahead and create this. So it's all ready. Ready to go. Here is our hero. And we will just run and test our hero whether it runs fine or not. Here is our output. And here is what we created. So as you see, this one is non-updatable and let's just see it in table form. So here is the table. As you see, department name under this executive department, three employees are there whose first name, last name are mentioned along with the employee ID and their corresponding job title is also pulled from the job table. Okay. So this is how we want it, right? So this is how we have achieved now. This is basically updatable. Whatever you want to update, you can just go ahead and update update it over here okay so let's say you want to update this name as a Steven one right so validate it and just comment. Uh, let's say from here we can do it I mean it's a Steven right Steven one just validate it and say I want to update and if you want to check now this will would have gone to the employee table right you check here on the employee table check the data here it's Steven one so we have updated it right so everything is updatable here what we selected previously <coughs> so now we have created this now we are going to we, we will create the same view object but this time it's not going to be based on these entity objects it is going to be uh, a read only view object okay so I will just simply use the same query but will show you how to create the view object as read only okay so I'll just simply copy this query because the same thing we are going to create the only difference is that this time it's going to be read only <coughs> we won't be able to uh, update anything new view object here you will select SQL object read only access through SQL query uh, I am sorry I should give the name properly employee department job read only view <coughs> so here is the query and I I'll paste the same query over here just test it will say valid Don't want all these stuffs so as you see attribute mapping here this all attributes you have selected and these all are SQL calculated
okay because these all are read only you don't have any other option over here i mean whatever options are all are basically the same thing that you have selected so I, i'll show you how to update this later just just a little while after so just to remember attribute mappings i want to show you then attributes these all look fine to me and attribute settings over here whatever you want it's queryable or not or updatable or all these stuffs <coughs> i want to expose this let's finish so here is our read only view object let's just run it and test it quickly here is our read only view object and as you see it's the same thing but this time nothing is updatable because it's a read only so on the ui basically nothing is updatable because the updatable property as you see over here as you see over here sorry as you see over here if you go over here it's updatable as uh, never even if you, you can go ahead and mark this as always right but that will show you department id as updatable over here in the ui but basically it is a read only thing and it's not going to be updatable at the back end never ever so here you see you will be uh, able to update this but that won't go to the back end to validate this maybe like So 902 we have updated, but if you go to the DB, right, department, you updated the 90 as 902, but nothing is present as 902. It's basically SQL driven. It's basically read only, so it won't, uh, it won't update anything at the back end. Okay. So here is all the things. So now. one more twist comes that this is a read only view object right so sometimes it happens in the enterprise uh, projects that uh, you have a read only view object present with you now you want it to base it on some entity object okay now because you want to update for example right now it's a read only thing so you cannot actually update anything through this view object whatever information you display to the user uh, using this you cannot go ahead and update that directly right so now <coughs> you want to give the user that ability to update that so for that basically this view object we o object should be based on the entity object right so right now it's not based on entity object so to do that what we will do we will go we will just open this and we'll go to the entity object tab and we want to base it over these basically right so we will just shuttle across all entity object which we want to base it up on okay and I will remove these associations. Already, we have provided the query. You can select these as I already described their functionalities previously. You can select these if you want. <coughs> if you select these, these will be updatable in the back end through the user. The data present in the job will also be updatable as I have selected this. So, <coughs> similarly, data present in the employees also will also be updatable because I have selected this. So <coughs> here is uh, we have mentioned that this view object now is going to be based on these EO, right? Now one thing more we need to do, we need to go to the query, edit it over here, go in the attribute mappings. Now remember I told you that in the attribute mappings I will tell you something. So right now <coughs> these all are basically SQL derived, but now you have added the entity objects as the base to this view object. So now if you select this drop down, you will have all sql calculated attributes apart from that you got all these attributes uh, present from these eos which you just now added so now you can say i want the department name to be fetched from here okay i want the department id to be fetched from department id of uh, department eo i want to fetch first name from the first name of employee you similarly last name from the last name of employee you similarly employee id as the employee id from the employees you similarly job title <coughs> from the job title of jobs you similarly jobs id from the jobs id of jobs you 
so I have mapped I have remapped all these attributes and I have remapped it to the attributes to their corresponding EOs I will just apply it and ok now go to the query if you see like yeah, everything I mean everything looks fine you can just simply run and test it so now our read only view object has converted to the update well now you can update anything if you want to test this you can just update it over here and validate save the changes go to the table and check whether your changes are present over here or not and as you see we updated this name to one two and it is appearing over here so now our view object has the capability to update also okay <coughs> so i hope this explains you well i will see you in the 